Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn the differences between get first free column row versus get first free row on column. Alright, so let's take a look at our Excel example here. I have an Excel contains of the column account name, primary contact, contact email, and contact number. So from here, let's understand what are the difference in these two actions. Okay, so let's make use of terminate excel and then we start off with launch excel afterwards i'll make use of get first free row on column Okay, so over here, I am required to indicate the column letter or the index. So the start index is from 1. What it means is, I can either use A, B, C, or D, or I can use 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's try A. And if I were to run this flow, It returns me 9. If I take a look here, yes, correct. 9 is my first free row. What happens if I change this to D? So it will return me 6, which is here. Okay, so let's try get first free column and row. Okay, I don't need to indicate anything. So if I were to run this flow, The first free row on column will return me 6, whereas the first free row will return me 9. So number 9, which means if any of this row that is empty, this action will return me the, the, the row that contains all the value is empty. Alright, so let's try if I were to add something here. And see what happened. So the first free row, it returns me 10, whereas the first free row on column will still be 6. Okay, so now the question is, which one should we use? Alright, so it's all based on your process. Assuming I have a process that I am always required the account name, and this is a mandatory field. I am not supposed to process any records that it does not contain an account name. In this case, I can ensure it by using the get first free row on column. So I will use A and then if I use the set this as disable action, I will read from Excel worksheet. Then I will can set this as start column will be A, the start row will be 1. End column will be D, and the end row will be first free row on column followed by minus 1. And then under advanced here, of course, I need to set this as my column name, and it will store it in my Excel data. So if I to run this, and let's take a look at our Excel data here. I have all these sets of record. Okay, so what if I make use of this action, get first free row and column. So over here, I need to change this to first free row minus one. In this case, my Excel data will read an empty value here. So if you are keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant update and tutorial video on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.